Hi, Spider fans. Bob Black, Spider TV at Spider Media Day with Spider running back Kendall Gaskins. Kendall, Saturday's uh, scrimmage yesterday, the defense seemed to step it up. The offense at the end scored a few touchdowns when you were in short yardage situation. You were kind of asked to describe yesterday by one of the reporters what this Spider offense will look like and what definition you would place next to it. Uh, actually, I'll just say we have multiple forms on our offense. We have the ability to put three tight ends in the game and make me a running back and then run power. We have the ability to put four receivers in the game, single back, no tight ends, <laughs> and just go. I mean, you could just expect a lot of different pieces. We have the ability to put John Lobb in the quarterback, take Aaron out. I just think this year with like another year under the system, we just have we it's a whole lot of different things we can do. The offensive line is looking great. Ryan Goss, Richard Muldrow, those guys are the senior leaders of that. And they're just coming along. That's giving us the ability to have a lot more uh, pieces to put in the puzzle. How challenging is it to you or how comfortable is it to you that you're playing in multiple spots, that you might line up in a fullback position, or you might be the single back or the tailback, that you have the versatility to be in different places? Uh, well, it's not as challenging as people would expect because our offense is basically about concepts, not just knowing exactly what one player does because it could be a formation. I can line up as a receiver and I have to know what the receiver is doing. So it's basically once you learn that offense on a concept-based level, it's much easier to learn what everyone else is doing rather than one position. How comfortable does Aaron Corp feel to the rest of you guys in the huddle? The injury behind him, we hope, obviously, and knowing he's the number one quarterback, even though, as you said, John Lobb will get some snaps. Oh, he's the same old Aaron, same old goofy, but when the time <laughs> needed, he's serious. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't see any difference in him. He, he's, I mean, he may be a, a step slower. But uh, in the end, I think he's the same old Aaron. He had a little minor setback, but he's passed it, and he worked hard to get back to where he is right now. And uh, I look forward to seeing what he has to do. All right. Last year, you guys go 6-5. and five. It's a winning record. You're 5-1 and one at home. You had a first-year coaching staff and a plethora of injuries, a long list of injuries. There are a lot of people that would have said, hey, that's, that's actually not too bad. You guys have taken a little bit of a different tack. You have said it was a winning season, but not a Richmond season. Explain that mentality. Uh, like we're using this year as no excuses as the TV show we're actually having. Uh, last year, we were 6-5. and five. A lot of injuries, everyone's like, oh, they did uh, okay from what they had to uh, deal with. No, last year, going into the last game, we still had a chance to make the playoffs and still have a Richmond season of getting to the playoffs, but we just felt like we didn't play up to our potential even though uh, we had all the injuries. We still had playmakers on our uh, team, so uh, even though people are in the, uh, the media are saying that we didn't, uh, we didn't do too bad. We just feel personally that we had the right pieces, even though a lot of people were injured to still succeed. How significant is the Duke game? It's very significant because you, don't, you never want to start off a season with a, a loss. Uh, and even though, it, even though it's, on, it's an ACC opponent, you want to show them, some of them that might have been recruiting you, you want to show them, oh, you, you missed them. It's, you play with a little chip on the shoulder. That's why it's so special. And then it just shows people across the, uh, the CAA and your other opponent, opponents that you're not a team to be messed with if we actually come out and win. Looking forward to it. Kendall, yes, thanks. Yep. Thank you.